Good morning, Arizona. Waking up on a Saturday morning. My name is Rex Perry. If your radio just turned on, you're tuned to a high-speed business networking show we do every Saturday morning. We bring real estate agents to the microphones and give out names, phone numbers, talk real estate. And you can't do real estate without fantastic financing. My co-host is... Mike Matz with Guaranteed Rates. Excellent. Thanks for being a co-host with us. And our first guest for the show is Estella. Give us your last name. Introduce yourself. Estella Landeros, and, you're, and I am from Westgate Homes Realty. Yeah, kind of introduce, you guys kind of work the west side of Phoenix, correct? Yes, I do. And you've got, first of all, we want to make sure we talk about these listings. You and, and the pricing on your listings are really excellent. So everybody listening, pay attention to her per square foot value. The first one is one forty nine nine, correct? Yes, that's correct. And give us the intersection. Kind of walk through the house for us. It's a... Property on 59th Avenue in Camelback. It actually is um, 4739 North 61st Ave. That is a three bedroom, 1.75 bathrooms, 1417 square feet. It was built in 1977. Property been fully remodeled, new tile, new texture, new kitchen, bathroom cabinets, granite countertops, new light fixtures, new paint inside and out. It has an RV gate in the back. It has plenty of space uh, for parking on, in the front and on the side. And again, one forty nine nine. And Mike, for financing on something like that, what do you think? Yeah, Rex, I think we're best off on this property. Um, FHA financing, three and a half percent down. It's a little more lenient on your credit score. You can go down to a six hundred credit score. You can get a gift for your down payment. A down payment on this house would be just right at about $5,062. So it can be your own money or a gift. And it's going to give you a payment each month of around $760 plus your taxes and insurance on a 30-year fixed FHA loan. So I think that would be the way to go on this house. Now, Mike, here's the other interesting thing is if you're a potential investor with 20 25% down, you could possibly get a pretty good cash flow on this, don't you think, Mike? Absolutely, uh, depending on what the rents are in the area. But we're seeing most properties still with a 25% down payment have a positive cash flow for the rental markets right now. And, and Estella, you know that area for a three-bedroom, what was that, a 1.75 1, 1. bath? Is that, that means it's a shower instead of tub, correct? Right, and that's correct. And um, the reason for it is because uh, the showers, it was uh, beautifully made out of tile. Oh, uh, granite. I mean, I, actually, it's uh, marble. Beautiful. It's a mar- it, it was marble and, and just some decorations that it's really beautiful. What do, what do homes rent for in that area, three-bedroom, two-bath? Do you have any idea? They're going approximately in between that price range, um, one fifty. So, so for rental, it would be what? Are you talking about a thousand oh, a month? For rentals, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that question. Uh, for rentals, it, it would probably easily rent like for nine fifty to a thousand. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. And there you go, Mike. You see, there's yep. there's so many people that still don't understand that there are still good single family detached rentals. And by the way, finding a three bedroom, two bath to rent that's all renovated, real hard to do. Now you've got another listing here, Estella. Tell us about the second one. The second one is uh, 95th Avenue in Camelback. That is uh, more on the west side area. It's closer to the Cardinal Stadium. Um, that one is a four-bedroom, 2.5 bath. It's uh, 2,387 square feet. It's a two-story. It was built in 2001. And like I said, it was built in, um, it's going for 199 It does have an RV gate, no pool. So it's under 200000 And what was the square footage again? 2,387. By the football stadium, folks, that's under a hundred <laughs> bucks. And Mike, for something on that price range, what are we talking payment wise? Well, usually in, uh, around a $200,000 house, and this is a good rule of thumb for people uh, to, to remember, $200,000 house requires about a $7,000 down payment. And it's going to give you a payment in the neighborhood of $1,000 a month plus taxes and insurance. So Two hundred thousand purchase price, seven thousand dollars down equals about a thousand dollars a month for a monthly payment plus taxes and insurance. Now, folks, do the math again. Even on this house, and it's a bigger house, but it's close to the football stadium. Even as a rental, 
with 20, 25% down, I think if you crush the numbers, everybody, you get a positive cash flow. And what that means is with appreciation, tax benefits, and over a five-year period of time, you got a pretty good return on investment. They call that an ROI. Don't you think, Mike? Oh, yeah, I would agree. Most of the experts, Mike Wars, who I usually turn to, looking for about a 5% appreciation this year, and I've seen numbers of that next year. So people are calling for not crazy appreciation, but that's what we want is a year-over-year Anywhere that 4 to 6% year over year definitely works out. That's a stable real estate market. But speaking of stable, the inventory is way down. And Estella, you work with a lot of buyers. What are you seeing out there when you take them around? I see a lot of agents struggling um, to get a buyer into a home. Because there's just such a buyer demand is what you're saying. There's a lot of buyer demand and a, a small inventory about properties that can be FHA financed. And, and I just heard on the news that in Maricopa County, the inter, uh, the rental rates for renting has really skyrocketed for the people renting single-family homes. So you've got to talk to Estella and have her, first of all, talk to Mike. Mike, let's get your phone number because you'll work with people even if they've had some credit challenges, correct? You betcha. My uh, phone number, 480-585-1616. That's 480-585-1616. Or you can catch me on the web, Mike Loans. That's my first name, MikeLoans.com. And then, Estella, your phone number. My phone number is area code 602-828-3492. And do you have a website or any way people can reach you through the internet? I'm not a, that's what we're working on. Getting, we're re, re, renovating it. We're not uh, stabilized yet with the website. No problem. Let's get the phone number one more time. 602-828-3492. Thank you both so much. We've got to do a commercial break here, everybody. We've got a full show today. We're going to have six different agents talking about different parts of the valley prices and what's happening in the inventory. Stay tuned, everybody. We're going to be right back.